What is up guys, uh, this is Felix and today I'm going to show you how to make some camera shake right in Cinema 4D. So uh, this is what we're going to be creating today. Alright, something like that. This is just a quick example. Uh, okay, so I'm going to delete my objects and everything here. And uh, we want to start by creating a text object. So go to MoGraph and grab a text object. All right, it's a bit, bit far away. Let's zoom in here a bit. All right, I want to change the uh, align to middle. And uh, let's type something that is appropriate for for the tutorial. And uh, what could that possibly be? I don't know. Shake maybe. Seems kind of related. So let's increase the depth a bit and uh, let's choose a cool font. Cafenero, that's one of my favorites. And we want to create some caps as well. Why not? I like caps. Uh, yeah, that is fine. And let's just increase the horizontal spacing a bit. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So let's add some materials to this. So uh, I I've got some materials here set up, uh, nothing too uh, you know advanced or anything. Just a quick color and some reflection. Um, so let's take the material, click and drag, and drop it onto our object, and then the black material as well. We can you can drop it here too. Uh, and you want to select your black material, and uh, you want to go down to the selection, and you want to type R1 capital R uh, it's gonna apply the material to the caps of the object so I think that looks decent let's rotate around this uh, okay so uh, let's go here and grab a camera alright so uh, if we zoom out here a bit and orbit around you can see that we have a camera in our scene here and uh, but we wanna go into the camera's perspective so uh, you just want to click this black box here. When you click it, you uh, you magically transform into a camera, and you can see whatever the camera is seeing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that turns the little black window into a white window. How convenient! Okay, so you want to right-click on your camera, go to Cinema 4D tags and grab a vibrate tag okay so uh... if we play the animation now you know nothing will happen so uh... let's enable the position and uh... yeah it's gonna create some random camera movement there but that's not looking too good so we're gonna change up the values here a bit uh... so instead of hundred uh... we can type thirty and then thirty on the other and uh... Now we come to the C axis, and uh, if we put a large number here, like 500, you're gonna see what happens. It's gonna zoom out, and uh, it's gonna look really weird. So I don't like that, so I'm gonna set that to just five. You can set it to zero if you want, but I want, uh, you know, just a little, uh, you know, uh, random movement on the C axis as well. Okay, so um, let's see how this looks looking pretty good pretty smooth so far uh, you can in increase the amplitude and the frequency uh, if you want it to be a bit more intense to like five or something um, but if you want it to be a bit more smooth you can just uh, set it to like 0 0.5 uh, but I hope you learned something from this little tutorial and uh, if you did learn something in fact uh, then press the little like button below I really appreciate that and uh, other than that guys see you later